Well, I'm just giving a good example. Stop, stop looking just in one particular area. I'm right now. Enlarge your territory. What I say? Expand your view. Go beyond your natural barriers. Cause see, we put limitations. Look like, oh no. Oh yeah. Oh no, no, I'm not gonna be blessed like that. However you wanna bless the Lord. However you wanna do it. And I'm saying that the Lord God said the blessing showed up. The rain cloud did show up, and it showed up in a particular way that they weren't really looking for. In the name of Jesus. And as I close today, the Lord God said we must be persistent in the things that we're doing for God. Amen. We're persistent in our prayers. Persistent in our praise. And also, I'm going to go on record. I, I didn't give you the scripture, but sometimes we need to be persistent in our proclamation. Right. That means persistent and, and so whenever we're prophesying. All right. And the Lord God says, speak to them their bones, speak to them. Yeah, yeah. You're like, wait a minute. You're like, wait, hold up, God. This is a, they say, this is a whole new type of preaching. Yes. Okay. You start decreeing and declaring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's what that's what proclamation. Start decreeing and declaring. You're like, well, wait a minute. I, I, if he tells you that something is your, I, can these but I prophesy to them about bones. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. I, matter of fact, oh, you, you don't know about no bones, all right? Spirit, you gonna act right. Tell me. Come on, get up from there. Come on, you come on, job, you come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Prophesy. You gonna get. You gonna act right. You gonna get your stuff together. Prophesy yeah. to your dry bones. Yes, Lord. Prophesy yeah. to the yeah. thing that you thought that was dead. Forget the wow. degree and declare things. Job, you gonna act right oh, now. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna right. perform the name of me. Jesus. You gonna give me all of my benefit. Plus, you gonna give me vacation. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. But be persistent in that. Don't just say it one day when you walk out and say everything gonna work out well. Yes, that's right. In the name of Jesus. Right. And whatever's not well by the time I leave, it will be well. Yeah, well. In the name of Jesus. That's what you call prophesying and being persistent in your proclamation. I'm being persistent in what I'm decreeing and declaring. Lord God, you said I'm blessed coming. So that, and I'm blessed going. Lord God, I'm walking in a place. So that means I'm about to be blessed. I'm about to leave a place. I'm about to be blessed. Prayers. 
And then they're going to start persistent prayer. Persistent prayer. Persistent prayer. I gave you a key factor right there. You're going to have to start decreeing and declaring something. Be persistent in what God you know, say what God says. All right. Oh, wait a minute, Pastor. I, I, I know that sounds like cliche, you know, name it and claim it. Let, let me break it down to you. Say what your daddy has told you to say. Yes. yes. Don't say what your daddy told somebody else to say. That's the worst thing when it's on. You know, that's my house. That's why. If the Lord told you to say that about that particular thing, then prophesy. Be persistent in that. If he didn't tell you, don't pick up somebody else's truck. Yes. Wow. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. See, you should have been in that day. We got some, we learned some hard lessons. Yes, yes. We start prophesying over things and start saying, yeah, that's mine, that's mine. You got all the trouble that went, you're like, Lord, I don't want it. Take it back. Because, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to just give a good example. You believe, oh, God, I want to, you know, I want a mansion. I want all the property. And all. Okay, you're going to pay the light bill for that. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Because you think they don't know if you're going to sit around candlelight all day. Okay. Wow. If you're going to get a 10 bedroom house, you need, you need finances to run 10 yes. beds. You're going to help. All right, then. Now, Lord, you're Wow. If you're going to get a bigger facility than that, then you need the money. Come on, God. Come on, boss. If you're going to say, like, I'm going to knock down the wall, well, then there's got to be finances. Come on, now. That, that's true. I'm trying to give you a natural view of something. Whenever the Lord God is calling for us to believe God for something, and hey, make sure he's telling you to do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure he's telling you, be persistent, whatever God tells you to do. Yeah. Because you start naming and claiming and getting somebody else and saying somebody else's word, you're going to get somebody else's trouble. Amen. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Lord. I don't like taking medicine already. Mm. I surely don't want to take somebody else's medicine. Mm. Especially when I got my own. Yes, I don't need it. Amen. So I'm saying that as you're learning, be persistent in whatever you're decreeing and declaring. Do it on prayer. So that way you can be persistent in your purpose. As I close today, the Lord God is telling you that today is breakthrough. Breakthrough will come for you, but you must be persistent. Amen. That, that's the key right there. I, I want my here to tell you, if you're going to do anything for God, you're going to have to be persistent. If you're planning on quitting and, and you know what, I can't, I, I don't know, I'm looking for people for the long haul. That's all right. I'm looking for individuals for the long haul. And yeah, you're wise to be, you know, think about it. Because you know, when you talk about long, that means you're willing to endure. Yes. You see, that, that's people that I want in my corner. That's people that you want in your corner. Amen. Yes. You want individuals, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yes. Yes. I want you to be persistent in prayer. Because see, persistent prayer has got some of us where we are. Amen. Yes. It's just the truth. It took somebody crying out unto the Lord God and dealing with all our issues and pray, Lord God, save my soul. Uh, save the soul of my granddaughter. Save the soul of my son, my daughter. Save grandbabies. Save, save, you know, wouldn't be for persistent, even though we weren't doing what we were supposed to do. Yes, Lord. Come but on here. But because they were crying out persistent in prayer, we were still drinking and still cutting up in the oven. <laughs> Somebody was praying. Hey. And you're like, oh, wait a minute, Pastor, that, you know what? We have to get to that point. We weren't all with halos. We didn't start out that way. I'm just going to put it out there. So some of you may have, and even if you, no. Hey, come on here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm going to go no further. You really don't like me at all, and I don't care. But you know what? Because I'm saying, I say, well, you were brought up in church. Just because you were brought up in church, that doesn't mean the church is in you. Amen. Amen. in the church. Did the church ever get in you? Yeah. Mm. Because when the church get in you, then you can have somebody that, you, people on the street got more church. Alright, alright, alright. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Now, I know individuals on the side of the road no more scriptures. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Come on. Then people that come yes. in the house. Yes. Amen. Now they come in, but that's what I'm saying that because you've got to let, you've got to be the church. Yes. I, I'm trying to say, you're like, you're being so hard on it, but you know what? You need to be hard on because everybody's been panicking kicking you all these years. To, oh, it's just good that you go to church. No, 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 no. You need the church to be inside of you. Amen. You need for the Lord to have a relationship, a personal relationship yes. with the Lord. Whenever you cry out unto God, that he's attentive to your to your yes. body. Yes. You need yes. to make sure the church is in you and know wherever you go, you are the church. Mm. You should represent. So how would you represent the church if you're going somewhere? You wouldn't want the church to look nice, right? Mm. Well, that means you talk right. You know, you wouldn't
wouldn't just backstab a brother or say, oh, oh, yeah. Hey, you hey. Treat them, if Christ had to show up in the church, what would you look on? Oh, I put that for you before I come. If Christ had to show up yeah. in this temple at this moment, right now, today, would he be ready to stay? Oh, wow. Would he be ready to stay? Oh, that's a personal part. You have to answer that. If he showed up in your temple, we don't talk about this house, we're talking about this, your body. Would he say, I, I, I can stay, or I'm going to just visit? And if he's ready to stay, then you know what? Then that's what God is talking about. Yeah. That's the point. If, he, if you're not undecided, you're like, well, Lord, I got some areas that I need. And he said, but you know what? If you're ready to clean it up, let me come in. And I can help you fix your furniture. Ah. Yeah. I can clean your windows. Amen. Hey. I can move some things out and put some things in. Amen. He, he's, a, he's an interior decorator. <laughs>
And Lord God, even in their praise and even in their proclamation. Father God, as I'm praying for every individual who's on my voice, Lord God, we're believing you for breakthroughs. Breakthroughs will come through in the name of Jesus. Sometimes we have to go through a breakdown to get a breakthrough, but it's coming. Yeah, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Lord. Lord. I'm praying right now. Yes, Lord. I just felt that right yes, there. Yes, Lord. I the Lord God is saying some of us, we're going to have to go through a breakdown to get a breakthrough. But so whatever it takes, yes, Lord. we're ready for it. Yes. Father God, I'm praying right now that you minister to them in the wonderful name of Jesus. And we said amen. 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 amen.